Hello, my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author and mental health educator. Welcome to your Depression Recovery Channel, which has been going on for seven years now. Can you believe it? Where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. Actually, it is now November, what is it, 15th, 2019, and we started this channel on November 12th, 2012. It has been exactly seven years. Anyway, as I say, each week we give you tips and strategies for overcoming depression and anxiety. And the title of today's uh, video is Depression Hates a Moving Target. Before we go into it, we have to do our perfunctory joke. And you know, my, my niece, who I love very much, lives in Monterey, California, a pretty cool place. But the other day, they did have an earthquake, something that does happen in California. And this reminds me of uh, something I once heard. Uh, what did one tectonic plate say to the other when it bumped into it? Sorry, my fault. As I mentioned, the title of this uh, video is called Depression Hates a Moving Target, very poetic title, and I got the title and the inspiration for this video from an amazing man named Mark Hennick, who was recently interviewed on a podcast called The One You Feed. Uh, Hennick has battled depression, despair his whole life, and his YouTube video has been seen by over 6 million people. During the interview, as he talks about his own battle with depression, he says that one of his biggest obstacles occurs when he wakes up in the morning and he tells himself, I just can't get out of bed. I just can't move. I just can't do it. Now, he may feel this way, but obviously it's not true. A depression does not uh, steal away your ability to walk, as he says. It does not infect your legs. It does not break your bones. You're still physically capable of walking, but somehow you convince yourself it can't be done. So you have to do something to override this perception. Even if you just got out of bed for five minutes, hop into a shower, hate every minute of it, and jump back into bed, that's still a victory. Um, the thing is not to give in to the workings of your mind. Uh, even as I said, if you just get up for five minutes and jump back into bed, or if you just get up and do something during the day, uh, anything that you can do that gets you out and about will improve your well-being. One of the phrases that <clears throat> Hannick mentions that has really stuck with me, and it's a very powerful phrase, depression hates a moving target. Depression hates a moving target. What does that mean? It means if you can just get up and despite everything your mind is telling you, everything your depression is telling you, if you can just get up, get moving, get out of the house, distract yourself, you will be lifted out of the valley of depression, even if it's just for a few hours or even a few minutes. And so uh, that's why uh, I called one of my previous videos where I talk about the exact same thing. <clears throat> my, my title was, I would rather be depressed than walking around than lying in bed doing nothing. Exact same principle. Depression hates a moving target, so get moving. However, as they say, this is easier said than done. Why? Because the nature of depression, the paradox of depression, is that you need an act of will to get up and get moving, but depression robs you of your will and of your motivation. So this is what makes it so hard to overcome. The very thing that you need to do, you can't seem to do. But you still can overcome this. I want to give you two examples from my own life uh, that uh, occurred in my support groups. The first person I want to talk about is Dwayne. He suffered from bipolar disorder, and as you know, with manic depression, what goes up must come down. He was in one of his down periods, and he had not left his apartment for three weeks. Somehow he managed to get to our support group, and the members of the group were very kind and very compassionate, and we exhorted him, Dwayne, see if you can just walk out of your apartment, even if for a few minutes. So we agreed. He walked out one day, walked a half a block, came back, went up the stairs, and went back to bed. The next day, he actually walked a block and did the same thing, went back to his apartment. The next day, he, was, he walked around the corner. I guess that was two blocks, then three. Then he made it all the way around uh, one cycle, and he slowly built up, uh, walking more and more each day, little bits, uh, baby steps, as they used to say in that film, What About Bob? Eventually, he had a walking partner and met this person. They started working together and walking together, and eventually... He was up to three miles, and obviously he was no longer a shut-in. So uh, through an act of his own will and through the support of the group, he was able to break that pattern and start getting out and getting moving. The next person I wanted to talk about is a guy named Ed. Uh, he had recently retired from the post office. 
Now, you think that would be a moment of celebration. I've worked in the post office. It's rather boring. But when people uh, retire from work, they often lose their sense of purpose and focus. And as they say in Proverbs, where there is no vision, the people perish. And he had just fallen into a deep funk and became a depression, ran in his family, and he ended up in his apartment and, once again, not moving. Fortunately, there were two other members of the group that were his age, John and David, and uh, one day uh, they decided to walk over to his place or drive over and knocked on his door and woke him, and said, woke him up and said, Ed, you know what? We're going someplace today. We're doing something different. And they literally just exhorted him and badgered him until he got out of bed, uh, got dressed, got in the car, and they drove up the Columbia River Gorge to this beautiful place called Angel's Rest, and they hiked. Of course, it was a nice summer day, and, and although he was mentally depressed, this guy was really physically fit and had no problem walking up. And as we often find with aerobic exercise, by the time he got to the top, his mood had improved. And so uh, the very next week, they repeated the same ritual uh, once a week and again uh, walked up to the top. And every week, it was easier and easier for him to get out of bed and more. He had more and more motivation, more to look forward to, and eventually he was able to do it on his own. So uh, this illustrates this principle I've talked about in many of my videos, is that when you can't do it alone, uh, call in the troops. You, you need to uh, bring other people into the uh, picture. When I was really depressed, uh, I had people call me on the phone every morning and listen to me while I read my vision statement, oftentimes standing on my head. <laughs> Uh, but it, it got me started in the day. Now, uh, the good thing about modern technology is the person who becomes your kind of your support for getting going doesn't have to live in your area. It could be a out of town relative, an out of town friend. We have Skype, we have FaceTime, we have WhatsApp. So there can be people from other countries. I spoke to my uh, editor every day in Sweden. So geography is not limited. Uh, you can you know you can find people all over the world who will call you if you have a connection and they can basically help you uh, get started. And uh, one time when I was really depressed, I just had the Multnomah County Crisis Line call me every morning to get me out of bed. So hopefully you can get someone enlisted to help you out and uh, help you get through that initial inertia. Because it's funny, you know, what did, what did uh, the Grateful Dead say? Can, can we sing here? The first days are the hardest days. Don't you worry anymore? So yeah, those first steps, getting out of bed, getting moving, and then Somehow you get some momentum going, right? Getting over the threshold and the rest of the day can take care of itself. Now, every rule has its exceptions, right? So there may be some days when it just might be too hard to get yourself up and going. And I say this for you type A depressives. Hmm, type A depressive, is that an oxymoron? Maybe. Anyway, if you find yourself just not able to get out of bed, give yourself permission to take the day off. Say, it's okay. It's okay to relax and retreat from the world. You know, I, I can I can have some downtime. I'm not feeling well today, but I know tomorrow will be better. And just, you know, let yourself be, give yourself permission, and probably the next day you will become more motivated. I'd like to summarize using the title of yet another video I made. It was called, Life Can Be Hard, Keep Pedaling. Of course, the pedaling was, uh, was a reference to cycling, which is, you know, what I love to do and which helps me get out of the depression. So keep pedaling, keep walking, keep being engaged. And while walking around in pain may offer only a temporary respite from the depression, it can diminish the pain enough to keep you engaged until you finally find a treatment that works. This has been Douglas Block. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all you viewers, all you subscribers, all 47,500 of you. And, you know, I, I, just, uh, I, I just get so much out of doing these videos. I, I have struggled so much myself, and it's really good to know that I can take some of my pain and suffering and, and turn it into something positive to help you folks. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, if you'd like to leave a comment, do so in the comments section. If you want to leave something longer, just simply email me, douglasblock at gmail.com. I do read all my emails. If you want to subscribe to this channel, just click on the uh, photo of myself and you'll be taken to the subscribe page. And if you click on the uh, bell to the upper right, you'll be notified every time I do a new video or a new live chat. And finally, if you'd like to support this channel financially and become a sustaining member for as little as only $2 a month, click on the Patreon uh, icon and you'll be taken to my crowdfunding page and you'll get a little treat, I should say a little gift uh, when you do subscribe. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Remember, 
Keep walking, keep moving, because depression hates a moving target. Thank you so much. Until next time, this has been Douglas Block.